let's talk about iodine, what it's good for. Iodine is a trace mineral. A trace mineral is something you need in very tiny trace amounts, okay? Usually in micrograms. But iodine is so important for your body. Let's start with the thyroid. What does iodine do for your thyroid? Well, the majority of iodine is located in the thyroid gland. Why? Because you need iodine to make the thyroid hormones. When we're talking about T4 or T3, we're really talking about the number of iodine molecules that are attached to this protein hormone. And so what happens is when the thyroid makes T4, um, it's, that's not the active form, that's the inactive form. You have about 80% of that T4 being converted to T3, the active form of the thyroid hormone through the liver, and 20% of this conversion happening through the kidneys, okay? So T3 is the active form, T4 is the inactive form. And you also need selenium for this conversion as well. And so without iodine, wow, your metabolism suffers. Pretty much every single symptom relating to uh, your metabolism. So if you have a slow metabolism, uh, it can affect your hair, your nails, your skin, your mood. It can, you can have a buildup of cholesterol. You can start gaining weight all over your body. So there could be many, many problems, including nodules on the thyroid itself from an iodine deficiency. All right, number two, iodine is essential in protecting you against excessive amounts of estrogen. And so if you're estrogen dominant, you have too much estrogen, uh, you're gonna need a little more iodine to counter that excess amount. I'll give you one example, fibrocystic breast, okay, where you're having these little nodules in the breast. The most powerful remedy to get rid of those is sea kelp. Iodine will counter that so fast. Same thing with ovarian cyst. Iodine is a great remedy because these cysts are occurring because you have too much estrogen. So we need iodine to counter this effect. And so as we know, too much estrogen can lead to cancer, especially of the breast, the ovary, the uterus, and even the prostate. So iodine is essential to help decrease the risk of cancer in those areas. Also, when you're pregnant, you get this surge of estrogen. And this is one of the reasons why many women end up with a thyroid problem, a hypothyroid condition, if they don't have enough iodine when they're pregnant. Same thing goes with uh, birth control pills, hormone replacement therapy, uh, eating non-organic food where you're getting a lot of pesticides that mimic estrogen, that can increase your estrogen too. Or if you're consuming a lot of soy products or soy milk, you can get too much estrogen. And if you don't have iodine, that could be a problem. All right, number three, your cognitive function, especially in a growing infant. And if that mother is uh, deficient in iodine while she's carrying the child or she's lactating, that child is going to end up with a lower IQ. Their intelligence is not going to be where it should be. Very important in brain development. If you're exposed to fluoride, fluoride blocks iodine. So if your water filter is not blocking fluoride, uh, this could be a problem because you're, you're getting too much fluoride that can then block um, the absorption of iodine. The same thing with bromide or bromate. Bromate is in flower products and that can definitely block your ability to absorb iodine. Now bromate has been banned in most developing countries except the US, in fact, they don't even put it on the label if there's bromate in that product. So if you're a regular follower of me and you're watching my videos, you don't have to worry about that because you're not consuming breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, waffles, things like that. You're not consuming grain. But they use this bromate to make the dough very elastic. All right, number four, iodine reduces the need for insulin, so it's involved with your blood sugars as well. All right, number five, iodine can help you prevent hot flashes. So why are we deficient in iodine? Because the soils don't have the microbes to mobilize these trace minerals, including iodine. Even Japan consumes 100 times more iodine in their food than the, in the US. And they have much less risk from getting breast cancer and uh, less thyroid issues and less estrogen dominance. Now, if you consume too much cruciferous, potentially that can block your iodine, but you would have to consume a tremendous amount uh, over a long period of time and only cruciferous. So it's going to be very rare, but if you're concerned about it, just take some sea kelp uh, when you're consuming this cruciferous. Now, sea kelp is the best source and also make sure that it's from a very, very healthy ocean 
Um, but sea kelp not only has the iodine, it has all the trace minerals, plus amino acids, plus vitamins, uh, and also make sure you get an organic source. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. 